I decided to make one more final video about game settings, PvP, INI and PvE and uh, I'm gonna show it right now. Right now for demonstration purposes I have everything on Epic. Uh, again, I'm getting 22 FPS, I have clouds on but I'm gonna show you real quick right now uh, what kind of settings I have and I'm not planning to change it unless Studio Wildcard will introduce something new to graphic settings. Um, let's see, uh, I have everything on Epic as you can see, this is a um, Epic preset, okay. Advanced settings, we do medium. View distance low because basically what it does is gives you more detail in the distance and you don't want that, it doesn't give you a lot of detail anyway, so keep it low. Texture quality, besides low, high, high medium, Epic, looks same, so do medium. Post processing should be medium because it does also or nothing basically. I have general shadows on high because I don't want my shadows to be blinking and I don't want it to be 2 FPS. So I have it on high. Uh, global measure quality basically is nanite and uh, lumen. Basically this is Iron Legend main uh, thing, right? To, uh, to give this game the next gen feel. So keep it on epic if you want your game to look good. FX quality should be on low because these are basically torch, uh, smoke and particles and uh, campfire and, and in later in the game you will get uh, more advanced weapons which have um, particles and stuff like that so keep it low. Foliage quality, epic is really, a uh, grass in epic is really tall so I don't like that. Uh, low and medium kind of look bad so I have it on high. Uh, I have 144 for max frame rate. Make sure to check this if you have on 60 or whatever. Motion blur should be off, obviously. Light bloom and light shift should be on. I had a lot of problems with uh, glitching lights. Sometimes it was uh, very dark, especially when it was transitioning from day to night. Sometimes screen was fully dark and blinking and like very bad. So make sure these two are on. Low light enhancement should be off. Oh, basically, it does nothing and uh, has very little uh, impact on settings as well. Enable foliage and fluid interactions should be on. Now this is a setting uh, which is super annoying because everybody says that sh this should be off. I don't know why, I don't know why these people are saying things like this and breaking people's games. So this should be on. If you have floating rocks, should be on. If you have floating anything, should be on. Uh, do it one one one. It doesn't have any impact on your performance. Just keep it on, okay? Footsteps, particles, enable for the decals should be off, off, off. Disable HLOD off. Now let's see if it's gonna break or not. Let's see. Let's save. I have 23 FPS with clouds on. Let's see. Game didn't break surprisingly. I'll have basically 37 FPS. Uh, game looks tame, it's still uh, 41 FPS, 43 FPS is still loading, basically 42 FPS, something from 40 to 45 FPS. Game looks like on Epic settings. Now about clouds, clouds have big impact. If you don't have this console right here, you should go advanced, console access, on, you will have that console command and type volumetric cloud zero and you will get uh, these volumetric clouds on epic settings that are still glitchy it's not good i get more five more fps which is great uh, on rtx side i have frame generation off uh, dlss balance balance is good quality won't give you any uh, fps boost balance is in between performance older will give you more fps but uh, on a distance all this tree is gonna start blinking and the shadows will be all over place so don't do that but someone might say these are not great improvements this is basically for people who want to enjoy still game visually and still have decent fps but if you want to go uh, like crazy on low settings you can obviously do that for that you don't have to watch anyone's videos just keep everything on super low i'm gonna put down in the description some lumen and nanite uh, commands as well which i'm not actually recommending to use because it might break your game and i don't know exactly how to go back from those settings exactly so i can put uh, it in description but it's up to you and uh, if you want to have that extra 
actually extra like 50 fps but so 60 fps you can do that but i'm not doing that i'm trying to play game as it is intended so these things right now are uh, the most important if you ask me even more than um, graphic settings um, first melee camera animation should be off and this display menu transitions you're gonna thank me for this right now i'm gonna show you a live demonstration on your screen this will give you advantage in every single situation you are pve or pvp if you want to access your inventory or chest or storage or anything just do the, keep this on that's just must to think next on camera i have camera view bob off disable third person camera interpolation off player camera mode off dino camera mode off FOV I have on 90, I was playing on 85, but I have on 90, not a big difference. Um, camera shake a scale was 65 or something like that, and I have it on, uh, and I'm going to tell you what it does. And person, a uh, first person writing, I have on. Basically, camera shake scale does uh, gives your game more like flat moving look, like in CS or something. So if you want a more bouncy look, give it more than like shake, uh, but I want it on zero. Now, about... Uh, commands which are for PvP and I don't know why Studio Wildcard uh, is enabling these type of settings to exist uh, in the first place. Um, for me, it just makes no sense. But I'm gonna uh, get out from my uh, RG. I have my armor fully broken. But let's see. Now, first, first option. We see ocean right on next to me, right? If you're gonna go do Warren single layer zero. Now we don't have water anymore, actually, at least visually, because if I go in a water, actually, water is still there, you know? But from the surface, you can see anything, you can see everything. This is ridiculous for me, I don't know why and how anyone would allow this type of thing to be uh, possible from console commands, but that's how it is, and uh, I'm not... Uh, agreeing that these decisions these are ridiculous now one more thing this is not everything right more things i know i know the um, uh, arc developers tried so much to just remove i and i things but it's still on so uh right now let's see so now let's do this thing let's do in consoles and let's do shadow quality zero now this is going to remove every single shadow in a game including water all right so we don't have any shadows right now, now we see a little uh, fishy right here but it doesn't have any shadows neither do uh, player characters or dinos nothing has shadows now not only this but actually we can do where is it let me find it i'm, I'm showing this from here um not from the other command center right now we're gonna do this command which is absolutely ridiculous i have never seen the gray box in any game like this to be accessible from commands this is ridiculous okay now we have the gray box now everything is um, gray you know on a gray scale so not only that but we see a lot of rocks here a lot of particles if you're gonna do this command foliage quality zero it's gonna remove all of these things as well we had more commands which were allowing us to remove all the trees and everything basically from this command center but uh, right now i'm not able to hopefully they fixed it if not i mean this should be fixed as well because this is ridiculous for pvp you will be able to see everything i don't know why this is allowed look as you can see like in a dark in dark forest how far you can see right and uh, besides this i'm going to show you right now on the screen uh if you don't want to use these ridiculous settings and if you want to basically uh, have a night vision uh, because actually i'm using it sometimes but not overusing it at least in my base i'm doing gamma 3 or gamma 5 um, to see in the dark and if you don't want to uh, have that type of uh, 
overlay gamma on your screen uh, during normal gameplay just do 2.2 and gonna go back to normal so that's that i play on this server uh it's basically small tribe settings but taming is uh, 5x it's a pretty good server admins are active we are experimenting here it's somewhat noob friendly i rated some people but uh, it's still enjoyable so i'm gonna put information in description if this helped make sure to like comment and sub see you around